Easier to say. cool chips in space, um, too. Yes. Easier to cool chips in space. Yeah. Yes, there's definitely no water in space, so you're going to have to do something yeah. uh, that doesn't involve water. <laughs> just um, hang out. <laughs> well, it's, it's, you've just got to radiate. That's right. Um, <laughs> so my, my estimate is that actually that, that, that the cost of, of electricity, like, like the, the cost effectiveness of AI in space will be overwhelmingly better than AI on the ground. So far, lo long before you uh, exhaust potential energy sources on, on Earth, long, long before, meaning like I think even perhaps in the four or five year time frame, the lowest cost way to do AI compute will be with solar powered AI satellites. So I'd say not more than five years from now. Wow. And just look at the supercomputers we're building together. Let's say each one of the racks is two tons. Out of that two tons, 1.95 of it is probably for cooling. Right. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. imagine how tiny that little supercomputer is, right? Each one of these GB300 racks and, will just and, be a little tiny thing. And, and just electricity generation is, is already becoming a challenge. Um, so if, if, you, if you start doing any kind of scaling for both electricity generation and cooling, um, you realize, okay, space is incredibly compelling. Um, so, like, let's say you wanted to do, uh, I don't know, two or 300 gigawatts per year um, of, of uh, AI compute. Yeah. Um, it's very difficult to do that on Earth. Uh, the, so the, the uh, U.S. average electricity usage, uh, last time I checked, was around 460 gigawatts per year average usage. Um, so, so something like, say, uh, you know, th at three, 300, if you're doing 300 gigawatts a year, that would be like two-thirds of U.S. electricity production per year. Yeah. There's no way you're building power plants at that level. Um, and then if you take it up to, say, a terawatt per year, impossible. Yeah. Like, you have to do that in space. There, there, just, is, there, there just is no way to do a terawatt uh, per year on Earth. Um, and uh, in and, and space, you've, you've got continuous solar um, you've got, uh, you don't, you actually don't need batteries because it's always sunny in space. That's right, exactly. Um, and, um, and, and the solar panels actually become cheaper because you don't need glass or framing. Um, and the cooling is just radiative. So that's, that's why I think... That's the dream. Yes. <laughs>